In verse 19, it says, it lets us know that Isaac, while Isaac was redigging the wells of his father, his servants were digging new wells. That's mm -hmm. right. Mm -hmm. What this tells me is that Isaac didn't put all of his eggs in one basket. Amen, amen. That's right. <laughs> yes, he was hoping to find some water in them old wells, but Isaac was smart enough to know, my God, that if there is no water here, I don't want to allocate all of my resources here. I'm going to find some water somewhere. And so he put his service in a place where they can dig and find some more water while he was trying to redig the old wells. Watch this. This is called hedging. Somebody say hedging. H e d g i n g hedging. Which is a term used to describe how someone tries to avoid or lessen their loss in one place by counterbalancing their efforts somewhere else. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you got to learn how to lessen the severity of your loss in one place by counterbalancing your efforts somewhere else. And this is what people do in investments. Uh, Isaac counterbalanced his counterproduction by by, by dealing with the old wells by having his men dig new wells. My God, tell somebody I got some new prospects. That, oh God, the situation I'm in ain't the only situation I got going on. My God, oh God, the place that I hang out at ain't the only place I'm hanging out at. God is doing some stuff somewhere else. And so by doing this, Isaac is saying, watch this, Isaac is saying if God doesn't give me what I need here, he will do it somewhere else. That's right. Oh God. Amen. If God doesn't bless me here, somebody point right where you are. If God doesn't bless me here, he will bless me somewhere else. Oh my God. If God isn't moving where I am, he's moving somewhere. And what I've got to do is find the move of God for my life. Yes. Oh if God ain't moving where I am, he's moving somewhere. If God ain't blessing where I am, he's blessing somewhere. If God while trying to discover God's will for your life. That's right. Man. Yes, Lord. And so watch this. In the latter part of verse 19, it shows us that the quicker you let go of what's not working in your life, the quicker you'll find what you're looking for. Amen. Because they found water. And so when the dead situation wasn't working, they still found water and they still found new wells. And, and, and water symbolizes life. I want you to understand that water symbolizes life because there's no greater force on earth than yes. water. You yes. can't, my God, you can't do nothing with water. When water decides to overtake you, you can go run and hide from wind. You can get away from fire. But when water decides to come in, it's going to take everything out. That's right. And so water represents life. And so stale water represents a stale life, while fresh water represents a fresh life. And what we all need is fresh life so we can be revived. Somebody say be revived. Be revived. Be re-energized. Be re-energized. And be refreshed. And be refreshed. I think that's what God wants for you. I think God wants you to be revived. He wants you to be re-energized. And he wants you to be refreshed. Yes, and I need Lord. a fresh start because when I get a fresh start, I'll feel like conquering some things That's again. Right. When yes. I get a fresh start, yes, I'll feel Lord. like living again. When I get a fresh start, I'll feel like praising like I know I should pray. When yes, I get a fresh Lord. start, I'll feel like worshiping yes. like I yes, should Lord. Lord. Yes, Lord. However, watch this. In finding fresh water, it comes with its own trouble. trouble. That's right. Because when you are in the pursuit of your goals and dreams, somebody is always trying to take your dream. Right. That's right. right. That's right. <laughs> Somebody is always trying to take your dream. Watch this. Notice that the herdsmen of Barar who were in the highland, watch this, claim to what Isaac's herdsmen found in the valley. That's right. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, God, oh, my God, help me, help me. Yeah. They're in the highland, which means they're in a fruitful place because Isaac made sure, my God, that the land was fruitful because he produced yeah. much fruit in the land. That's right, that's right. Yet they're so spiteful towards Isaac that they will come after what he found in the valley. In the valley. Right. Oh, help me up in here. Help me up yes, in here. Lord. I want you to understand that some people will stoop as low as possible, my God, That's to prevent right. you from getting what's yours. That's right. Oh, yeah. They, they don't care how low they got to go to try to rip you That's and right. strip you of what's yours. They don't care how low they got to go, my God, to try to rob you of the blessing that God put on your life. They don't care how low they got to go, my God, to disturb your peace and to disturb, my God, what God is doing in your life. They'll leave the high fruitful land to come down and mess with you in the valley. That's right. Yes, they Because they ain't got nothing else to do but That's be right. agitators and haters, my God. They, right. they ain't got nothing else to do, so they'll come out from their high and mess with you in your low place. That's right. That's <laughs> Jesus, right. I hope this is helping somebody. Oh, God. Notice, watch this though, in verse number 20. Watch what Isaac does. Isaac called that well Isaac, which means contention. And if there's one thing I know about contention, you may not know this, but one thing I know about contention is where there is contention, contention robs you of your blessing. Oh, man, man, my God, my God. Oh, my God. Watch this. Even though this well had fresh water flowing in it, the contention that came with it, my God, wasn't made it work, not worth dealing with. That's right. Yeah, there's fresh water here, Isaac. There's fresh life here, Isaac. But the contention that comes with this makes this unbearable to deal with. That's right. That's right. And here's a lesson to somebody. Not every good thing is good for you. That's right. That's mm -hmm. That is so true. Uh, uh, sometimes you have to know when to walk away from some stuff. That's it's right. good, my God, but it's too much drama over here. That's it's right. good, but I got to keep putting up with too much to keep this. My God, some jobs are just good jobs. They got good benefits. They pay good. Oh, my God, you're in a good place, my God. But the people in act such a fool that you got to make a move. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Not every good situation is good for you. Just nudge somebody. Somebody look like they need to hear that. Not every good situation is good for you. That's right. That's right. So watch this. Isaac, and I'm almost done. Isaac and his boys moved on. They left that too. And, and they went and dug another well. Right. Only to have them folk bother them over that well too. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Oh my God, they tripping, they tripping, man. they tripping bad because watch this. Uh, 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 Isaac, okay, man, I'm going to let you have this well. There's too much contention here. It's good. It's a good well. I'm going to let you have it. I'm going to move on. And so Isaac goes and finds another spot, digs another well, and they come messing with him over there too. That's right. Jesus. And so Isaac called this well Sitna, which means hatred. Because now Isaac is starting to realize that no matter what he does, these folks just don't like him. That's right. That's right. <laughs> no matter what he does, he understands that he's surrounded by haters, my God. And when you are surrounded by haters, you will never accomplish anything. That's right. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Sometimes, my God, you can have great vision, you can have great expectation, and have great instinct, but when are surrounded by the wrong people, it chokes the greatness out of you. That's right. Yes, it will. Yes, That's me right there. Let me shout right there. When you are surrounded by the wrong folk, it chokes the greatness out of you. And so what you got to do is get away from them folk. That's right. Help That's me right. Oh, yes, God. Lord. Who got it? What's this? How do you know when you are in the wrong place, my God? Oh, God, I asked somebody that. How do you know when you're in the wrong place? How do you know when you're in the wrong place? <laughs> you know that you are in the wrong place, my God, when you have what it takes, but the people still want to see you fail. You know that you're in the wrong place, my God, when you're good for the place and you're good for the people, but they still don't accept you. No matter what you do, my God, you can never earn their support. No matter what you do, you can never earn their respect. And that's exactly what hatred does, my God. Hatred is a state of mind that blinds someone to the point where they can't even see the good quality. 
harmonies in you because they're so blinded by their dislike and their disdain for you. That's right. That's right. Oh, man, help yes. me up here. Help me up here. Preach. 